You got 24 hours in a day to do whatever you want to do. Think about that. You got 24 hours in a day to do whatever you want to do. The question is, what are you going to do? For the most part, we as human beings, we don't respect time. Now you look at renewable resources. Money is renewable. Um, commodities are renewable. Health is, you know, for the most part, renewable depending on where you are in your life. But what is not renewable is time. I can't reverse time. I can't get more time. However, I can manage my time better. And it's funny when I see people waiting in line to save 20 bucks or, you know, you go to uh, Wonderland here in Canada or kind of like Universal Studios, etc., and people are willing to wait in line three hours to go on a roller coaster or they can just pay maybe an extra 20 bucks and get an express line and within five minutes they are on board on the roller coaster. So whatever you want to do in life, the major thing you got to focus on is time management and respecting yourself. Because if you respect yourself, you respect the fact that time is limited and every second of your day should be fulfilled on what you want to do and what you like as opposed to what you don't like. And so the question is, how do you actually then save time or buy time? A couple of things I'm going to be talking about that I personally do to save my time and things I do to actually buy my time back. Number one, most people they will drive in the city. I live about half an hour away from the city and uh, basically most people will drive into the city. So driving, there's a couple issues with driving. One, you gotta pay for your car, you gotta pay for gas, you gotta pay for parking, which is crazy fucking expensive in downtown Toronto. And worst of all is you lose your time because you can't really do anything when you're driving. You gotta concentrate 100% on the road. People laugh at me when I tell them this. I take Uber everywhere. For example, my total Uber cost per month is less than what most people spend on their car. If you factor in insurance on your car, you factor in gas on your car, you factor in maintenance, and you factor in parking cost per month, Uber is way cheaper. What's beneficial about Uber, I'm buying my time back. I can work on my work in the back, I can read a book, I can listen to music, I can take a nap, I can do whatever I want. I'm actually buying my time back and being more productive with my time. That's one thing that I do. Number two is, I highly recommend this, it's chunking your time. Most people, they are all over the place with their time, right? They do a little bit of things here, a little bit of things there, and nothing is well organized. For me, I like to chunk my day into blocks. Uh, for example, I'll have a two hour block for emails. Uh, I do it every single day, about an hour and a half to two hours. I wanna say just email, but I would say corresponding messages. So emails, uh, legal documentations, anything that I need to talk with people or reply to a message. It's chunked. I don't do random times of the day email. I won't look at my email until it goes to that chunking period. So you can chunk anything in your life. It can be, it can be chunking in, for example, you schedule within your calendar going to the gym every single day, or you schedule in your calendar, uh, you know, a business meeting, whatever, whatever it is, like as long as you're chunking your proper allocation of resources that are very similar together, you are maximizing the efficiency of your output. And that's what it goes, that's what it's really all about, is maximizing your efficiency and output without, within your day. Uh, so what I like to recommend is, you know, just, these are just a couple of things I mentioned, is I, I would recommend uh, reverse engineering your goals. So basically ask yourself, what are things, and a great book to read is The One Thing by Gary Keller for this, is what is that one thing you wanna accomplish in the month, or you can even go a little bit further uh, with OKRs, or what is that one thing you wanna accomplish this quarter? Then you reverse that. Uh, to accomplish that thing in the quarter, what are things you have to accomplish within that month? Then if you go a little bit deeper within that month, what are things you have to accomplish every single week to get to that month goal? Uh, so if you're breaking down that granule you look within the week is like, how do you actually structure days to get your weekly goals from your weekly to the monthly, monthly to the quarterly? And so basically I live my life on a calendar. I mean like if it's not scheduled in the calendar, it's not happening. And so things that I mentioned already before, I take Uber as much as I can to save myself time. I do chunking exercises. Uh, business meetings and calls, I don't have them sporadic throughout the week. I have specific days and I have chunked up periods, periods of times. Uh, for example, Tuesdays usually are my business call days. So I literally have back to back, back to back, back to back calls, and I chunk everything in on one time as opposed to sporadically having everything spaced out. If you're looking for good business structure for running yourself, uh, Dan Sullivan from Strategic Coach has a very interesting model. 
the model is like this. You want to have two productive days of the week where you're not taking any business meetings, where you're not talking to anybody, where you're actually working on the business, uh, thinking of big ideas, strategizing, working on revenue, working on marketing. No one's bugging you. You're not replying to anybody. You're not in response mode. You're not in reactive mode. You're just doing what you need to do to grow the business. Then three days of the week, you're in, let's say, maintenance mode where you're doing emails, you're doing business calls, you're talking to your team and you're making sure everything is well oiled. And then you have two buffer days where you don't do work, where you need to download the weekly processes of what happened and let your mind rest. And so it's refreshed for the next following week. And it's really import important to have these buffer days. So it's two days of focus work, three days of maintenance and oiling the engines and two days buffering. So that's a really good uh, high efficiency, I would say, protocol when it comes to running yourself as an individual, whether that is a business or whether that is you as a person uh, looking to better yourself. So that's my take, guys. Like, if you're looking at doing anything better in your life, figure out ways to maximize your time. Like, do not cheat yourself. Do not just throw away time like it's free. It's the most precious resource on the planet because we don't ever get it again, right? Enjoy your time, maximize it, become very productive, make sure you schedule everything in, live your life off of a calendar, and try these different protocols. So recommended resources, check out Dan Sullivan, check out uh, The One Thing book, and if you have any questions for me for time management, leave a comment below this video. Peace.